The power of the Force permeates both space and time. It surrounds us, penetrates us, binds the universe together. So it's no surprise that the powers the Force can give to its users are incredible. In today's video, I want to talk about a very rare Force power that very few Jedi had, let alone mastered. For instance, we have no records of even powerful Force users like Yoda, Anakin, Dooku, or even Sidious using this power. It's the power of psychometry, a Force ability so passive that many overlook its usefulness. Psychometry, like it sounds, is a Force power of the mind. It doesn't move things or destroy anything, but that doesn't make it any less powerful. Psychometry is the canon Force ability of obtaining information about people or events simply by touching an object associated with the person or event in question. The undisputed master of psychometry is Jedi Master Quinlan Voss. Master Voss was a Jedi Master briefly seen in Episode 1 on Tatooine in Mos Espa, but made his biggest appearances in the Clone Wars cartoons and the canon novel Dark Disciple. He was a rugged Jedi who sported dreadlocks. He was rough around the edges which made him perfect for going undercover, which is what we can assume he was doing on Tatooine and is the reason why he didn't reach out to Qui-Gon Jinn when he saw him out of fear of blowing his cover. His psychometry aided him extensively while undercover. All he had to do was touch an object related to a crime or criminal, and he could know the truth behind a question in a matter of moments. One time in the canon novel Dark Disciple, Quinlan goes undercover with a black market dealer and basically just goes around touching everything to learn every dirty little secret the guy has to offer. Once the guy finds out about Voss's ability, he knows he's caught red-handed and that there's nothing he can do about it. The cool thing about this force power is that it largely doesn't matter what the object is, as long as it's being handled by the person that you want to learn about. For instance, in Dark Disciple, Quinlan, Obi-Wan, and Anakin raid a Separatist communication station to find it already abandoned. They walk into the empty barracks and can't find any clues as to what happened. So Obi-Wan asks if Voss can get anything from touching a bedpost. Quinlan says he can, but instead, he uses a comb lying on the ground to discover that they fled about two weeks before. He gets the information so fast from the comb that Anakin surprisingly asks if he really did anything. It was that quick. Quinlan's ultimate usage of psychometry, though, is to find out about the death of his master, Tom, by holding his lightsabers. There's a ton to this story which I've already covered in depth in another video, but essentially Asajj tells Voss that Count Dooku killed Voss's master in cold blood, but when Dooku tells Voss that it was really Ventress that killed him, Voss has no choice but to learn the truth by holding his old master's lightsabers. When he touches them, he experiences the truth that Asajj killed his master in cold blood, even after he had surrendered. Now it's important to note that Voss experiences this, not just sees it. Psychometry is much more than just seeing a video playback of something. It's filled with emotion and pain, too. In fact, for this very reason, the Jedi Order did not approve of Jedi using psychometry to handle weapons of violence, as the wielder's feelings could be sensed, and those emotions could lay a Jedi bare to the power of the dark side, which is what happens to Voss and precipitates his fall to the dark side. But again, I'll cover that much more in depth later. So we can see how powerful this power is to virtually be a human lie detector just by touching an inanimate object. There's also another ability that a Force user can master that involves touching living objects. Yoda was a master of this ability and used it against Voss to determine if he was hiding the dark side within himself. Yoda merely touched his hand and said, in his heart, darkness I found, Yoda said sadly. Deep, secret, powerful. The history of items. Does the Force permit Voss to understand? The history of a soul. Does the Force permit me to understand? So while Yoda can't see the history by touching objects, he can see a person's history by touching them. I certainly hope that Anakin avoided touching Yoda to not give away the whole having a wife in secret thing that he had going on. But eh, Yoda probably knew. Everyone probably knew. So back to psychometry, is it possible that we've seen this in the films? Does Rey experience this ability when she touches Luke's lightsaber in The Force Awakens? She clearly sees and hears tons of histories that the saber was involved with, in battle or on Cloud City or wherever. She hears Vader and other things as well. She also seems to experience very strong emotions during her vision, which is why she freaks out afterwards. That all fits with psychometry and would explain the Force vision that she has. Now, of course, this explanation isn't canon, but it's the closest thing that we have in canon to explaining this. But then, it doesn't explain why she also sees the Knights of Ren or hears Obi-Wan say, these are your first steps, and other things that Luke's lightsaber was not present for. So, 
What do you think? Do you think Ray has the power of psychometry? Do you want to see more of this power in the films? Also, a fun fact is that there's a full draft of the Vader fan series that has Quinlan Voss as a major character. Although, you know, we had to remove him because, uh, well, we just don't really know if he's around. And I don't know, I think it would be a little too confusing if you brought him in and then killed him and then he shows up in canon as being alive. It just, it's just, I don't know. I want to keep it kind of uh, as consistent as possible, at least. Now, on that question, do you think Quinlan is someone that we could see in canon again? Let me know in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed this canon video, and if you enjoyed it, leave a like. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, remember, the Force will be with you, always.